Hi everyone. All right, so today we are doing a little bit of a note review this week, which will get us into next week's music lesson as well. And I know we haven't done this in a little while, and um, so I thought it'd be good to do it today. So you should already have your staff sheet and your pencil. If for some reason you couldn't print it out, just get a blank piece of paper and put your five lines going across it. We're going to practice it at, together today how to make a treble clef. So if you remember, you could either do it this way, which is the fancy way. By the way, it's a little a little wonky on my end because I'm using my mouse to create it instead of drawing it with my hand on a pen or pencil. All right, so you can either do it that fancy way or you can start from above the top line of the staff. Draw a line going down, make a little curve, then go back to the top, add a little flag, and then from that flag, you're going to continue down and make a six. Remember, don't pass the bottom line and wrap your loop around the second line. Okay, so you want to wrap your loop around this second line. Don't pass the bottom line. Let's try again. So again, you can go from the top down this way. Wrap around, draw your six after your flag. Ooh, that one came out, came out good. Or you could do the, do the fancy schmancy way where you go from the bottom up. Oh, I could tell it's already gonna be wonky. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna go from the bottom up. Clearly I can't make a straight line going up. Draw your little flag, make the six, bring it around the second loop. Yeah, not so bad. All right, so you should have four or five of those on your staff, just like I do. If you don't, just pause the video for a minute and finish out your treble clefts. If you do, then you are ready to continue with me. So we're going to go down to this staff, go all the way to the left side of your staff. Draw your treble clef. That is really bad. We're going to do that again. All right. And we're going to practice doing our music notes. So do you remember your silly sentences for our music notes? Hopefully you do. So we're going to start by doing our line notes first. Think about what that silly sentence was for line notes. Hopefully you remember it's every good boy deserves fudge face, but we're only going to use half of that. All right, we're going to start with the bottom line. We're going to draw our first music note, and we are going to label it. What are we labeling it? E for every. And we get to our next line. If you want to draw it right above, you can. I like to space it out a little bit. It's up to you. Just make sure that you write it so you can read it. What is our next line note? You are right. G. Every good. G for good. Our next line note is going to be... The letter B, every good boy. The next line note, D, D for deserves. And that very top line note, F for fudge. So we just did all of our line notes. Every good boy deserves fudge. E, G, B, D, and F. Let's go back and draw our space notes now. Again, starting from the bottom. Always go bottom to the top. So what is that silly word that we use? Hopefully you are remembering that it is face. So our first letter is F. 
And the next one, spell out that word, is going to be A. And our next space note, C. And the very last one is E. Now, we've been going line notes and then space notes, just like we do when we play Park It. I miss playing that with you guys, where we do E-G-B-D-F, F-A-C-E, Park It. So that's what we usually do when we play that game. And I want to talk about how the notes can go, and that's when we're skipping line notes and space notes. I want to talk about how every other, that's every other note, but... If we were going in order, right, starting with the E, and then we go F, G, A, B, C. Notice I am going in alphabetical order. I just happened to start with E on the staff. D, E, and then F. And now if you're going in order, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, right? We're going in order. Remember, we don't have, if we go up to G, we don't have H, I, J through Z. No such thing in music. We just start over again. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We just always start over. So now if I want to figure out what those that top note is up here, this space note, Go in order. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. What letter is this going to be? If you said G, you are correct. Nice job. Let's do the one that's down here in this space. So if I draw it here, notice it's before the E, right? So if I draw it, I'll draw it here too, just so you see it. It comes before this E. So what letter comes before the E? Think about your alphabet. And you are right if you said D. Okay, so this is our D. If I were to draw a line note before this D, right here, a little hard for me to draw. What would that be? Think about your alphabet. What comes before D? You are right. It is the letter C. All right. So I want you to keep this handy because you need this for the next part, which is your worksheets. You're going to do a little review and decode the message. The message. Once you're done decoding the messages, then you are going to open up this link. And you're going to play on the boom whackers. What I mean by that, let me pull this back up. If you decode the word right here, I'm going to put a word. Let's see if you can figure it out. What word did I draw? Decode it. Match it up. This is an E. What's the next one on the second line? A G. And we repeated that note, so we decoded the word egg. So once you've decoded your word, you're going to go to the link and play it on the boomwhackers. So you hear what it sounds like and have some fun with that. All right, guys, hope you remember, remember this stuff. It's a good review. You're going to use this for your worksheets. Also, I want you to keep this treble clef staff that we did together for next week's lesson as well, I have a really fun game for you guys um, to do. If for some reason you lose it, no big deal. All you have to do is go back into this video. I will write that down in next week's lesson as well. And you can just write this again. You don't need the top part with the treble clef. You just really need this bottom part. If you don't need it, you don't want to use it, you want to try and decode the words or whatever the game activity is without this, Awesome. Go for it. All right. Great. Have a nice day. Bye.